Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 9 of my dear friend No Quatan. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. What's wrong? Tomorrow's what? <laughs> Honey, I feel like you're going to regret that in a couple of minutes. Oh. Good job. There is something I kind of want to talk about, but I don't know if I want to say it now because we're at the beginning of this episode or if I want to say it later. Um, I think I'm going to say it later. So expect this video to be semi, semi long. Not really. <laughs> it all I'll say is this. It's regarding um, the post that I posted yesterday morning before I went to work because that comment was on one of these videos for this show and I just want to address it in here just to get it out of the way because I mean I, I addressed it on Twitter I addressed it on on a post and this is my last time talking about it and it's just we're throwing it away after that. <laughs> Okay, what is the problem? Oh. oh. Did you buy more of those? What? For, and hold on. The kitten, I get it. The fawn? This is too much for one girl. Maybe both the kitten and the fawn. Right. Divide and conquer. We're gonna make time, Meme. Uh, of course you will. <laughs> Anko, no. That we don't have time. Deer in the back. 
honestly, since you had to do so much yesterday, you really shouldn't have to participate. I would literally automatically just give her an A. Shit. Last minute. See, I feel like now we're more at a convention rather than a sports festival. <laughs> because everybody just is like, fuck today. What's wrong? Is it molded? Oh, no. Well, you know, at least it's not like the situation that we have here with the recall of bread because there's been glass and bread. You're not giving everybody deer crackers. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that is him playing him. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of using his, um, his Shirogane voice. <laughs> well, duh. <laughs> Is it good? Well, Grand oh! <laughs> Grandma, what the hell? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> ah! Oh, my God. fell for her once again just be like oh you can sit out student council prize
what the hell? What? Uh oh. Uh oh. She's right. <laughs> you better go. Hmm. Huh? What the hell is the deer club doing? <laughs> when did that happen? Oh, <laughs> right. I mean, you could have at least discussed this with her. Please don't fall. Do you secretly have a deer in the back? Right? Check behind you. And yet!
<laughs> you gotta be shitting me. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Oh my god, girl. See, once again, just let her off for the let, let her off for the rest of the day. She's done good. Let her rest. Oh my god. She looks she looks like how I looked yesterday after a freaking eight hour shift and then having to go back to work on tomorrow. Oh baby. Volleyball made of antlers. Don't worry, that's going to be me Sunday night. Oh. Okay, the, the, fuck it. Let's just end it right here. We don't need to do any more. Yeah, I mean, the only thing you really can do is just, you know, you and Chikonoko, you need to do your pretty cure isk <laughs> to fix this. Once again, just just end it for the day. End it for the day.
It was necessary, honey. Honey, you know everybody heard and saw that, right? Yeah, oh. Damn. Once again, I, I if it got to the point, which it did, deers are everywhere, you're like, mm, how should we end this? I would be like, hey, guys, let's just postpone the rest of this to the next day. We just make it a two-day thing. End of the story. <laughs> but I love how she's like, yeah, come here. Come here. I got something for you. And she done it. <laughs> she go don't go. I, it reminds you of how like when your parents are like, come here, come here, come here. Like I just want to tell you something. No, you're not in trouble. You're not in trouble. And then you get closer because you know you're curious and you're wondering what's going on. And then usually what happens? You end up in trouble for some weird reason. Something that you did in the past and you don't remember what it is and you're like, oh. Hmm. <laughs> All right, another way I could compare it is, okay, uh, four years ago, me watching um, the first Heavensfield movie for Fate, and Shido walks over to the aberration thing, and I'm like, don't walk over there, you idiot! And he's just like, no, I'm gonna walk over there anyway, I don't know what the hell's gonna happen! And I'm like, no, why would you walk over to something that looks a little dangerous, you don't know what's gonna happen to you, or what it's going to do to you? Are, are you dumb? In that moment, he was. But it was okay, I still love him regardless. <laughs> but no, this is a cute little, like... Honestly, this was a cute sports day episode, but if I still had to say out of all the animes that I have watched throughout my life, um, the Kobayashi Mei Dragon one is still one of my personal faves, obviously because of how <laughs> if I if I can find um my old reaction to it on Nico Nico or I either had it on Nico Nico or I had it. it it's on Nico Nico. I, I think it is. It's either on Nico Nico or Billy Billy. Um, and then I think I probably. My ex. My ex has a. On, <laughs> on my. um On our Snapchat thing. If I can. I have to go. Oh my God. I'm about to look through the archives of our history. Uh, Fuck, uh, I'll do it, I'll do it. For y'all, I'll do it for y'all. Um, <laughs> to go to find the cute little woman of me as, like, ha being a mom to an anime character and be like, yes, go, Kana! Go, honey! And it just, all those feels came rushing back. It it's it's like that one almost, like, every Sports Day episode that I watch for an anime and you're just cheering for the characters and such and you just be like, yeah, you got this! But, I I mean, I feel bad for <laughs> lovely student council president delinquent baby because she she was prepared she was ready for if any little thing had transpired had orchestrated whatever she had a plan a a plan b she probably got it all the way to z up until everybody came in with all these other problems she's just like you know what my my a to z plan fuck that plan because um I don't have every solution now anymore. So you do feel bad for her. But yeah, I mean, seriously, after everything that she had to do within 12 to 24 hours 
to make sure the sports festival was good, I really would have been like, hey, you automatically got to A. You had to go above and beyond just to make sure that everything went according to plan, that you had everything, and you had to work an extra day before the festival. You ain't got to do anything. You ain't got to participate. I would be okay with that. <laughs> but no, this is a good episode. But okay, let's talk about the little situation that happened Early yesterday morning, around 6 a.m., going all the way up until I went to work. So, of course, um, I wake up. I get this random comment. Um, and it's not a comment that I have. Mm, it's a comment or situation that I have not seen in a hot minute. And never would have thought that I would have seen or just being in the moment with one of these comments again, but, you know, things in YouTube works in mysterious ways and saying, like, here, you gotta, you know, you gotta go through this bullshit comment before you can just ish. And the person who, the comment w which was said, I'm not gonna repeat it because I don't feel like talking about it, um, comment-wise, and I deleted the comment instead. Um, all I'm going to say is this. If you don't like my videos, that is Okay. I am perfectly fine with that. I've been like that since day effing one. I, I really don't care anymore. I, I stopped thinking about what others specifically on the internet care about me, whether it is how I look, my personality, how into the portion, my skin tone, because that's what the fuck it was. Um, regardless, because I think even up until now, because of the fact is you have people who want to hide behind um a computer and to make someone feel bad did it make me feel bad not really because funny enough i've seen worse comments in the years that i've done youtube so you were just one little speck off of something else but the funny only reason why i'm talking about it with this particular series is because it was episode six that they commented on and saying that people who look like me specifically black women like me shouldn't be introduced or even in anime and I was just like excuse me like do, do you not know that black women are in, black people black women are in anime I just wanted to say that just to get that out but we are over and done with that it is gone I literally deleted the comment and I blocked the person so hopefully I ain't gotta see ish again but it is gonna make me want to do something um, with some of my videos, particularly starting with this one, especially when this comes out, probably in the next hour and such. But no, Sports Festival was a really good episode. Enjoyed it. We are now onwards to episode 10, which of course these last couple of weeks we've been wondering what the hell the mysterious thing of episode 10 is going to be. And we're going to see that next week. And honestly, I'm still super soaked even with the last couple of weeks of this show <laughs> regardless. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 9 of my dear friend Nokotan. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matching Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 10. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.